is Rod Jensen. I am the president and CEO of the Bank of Star Valley. I've had the great honor of holding that position for 26 years now. The best thing about working in a bank is helping people. It is the reason we exist. The local community bank went out of business and a group of local citizens decided that Star Valley needed a community bank. They came together, we formed the bank with the focus of helping individuals, and that is what we get to do day in, day out. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call, nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming, you wanna make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you, you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez. I think being in a small town, you just really care and you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors. These are people that you see out in the community. You know, you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store. You know, these are our neighbors. One of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends, we are family. And so I think there's a lot of trust in the community. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit Simplot.com. Star Valley Physical Therapy, a division of Star Valley Health, is committed to guiding you back to great health through effective physical and occupational therapy services. Star Valley Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy to treat conditions such as arthritis, back pain, chronic pain, joint pain, sprains, strains, and much more. Aquatic therapy allows for patients to perform activities and exercises that would normally be too painful. Learn more at starvalleyhealth.org. 
True roots run deep. When Dr. Hoganson had the chance to move back to the valley he grew up in and raise his family among friends, he jumped at the opportunity. He is honored to serve the community that has been part of his family for generations. Star Valley Dental promises honest, compassionate, and high quality dentistry tailored to your needs. They offer fillings to implants, same day crowns to 3D printing and everything in between. Call Star Valley Dental at 885-4355 to schedule your appointment today. Star Valley Dental, where we treat our patients like family. Hello. Using tracking skills I've acquired pretending to be a national park ranger, I'm going to locate a customer of Rocky Mountain Yeti. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Yeti, these people are having their very first adventure. We actually do this all the time. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Yeti where legendary customer service is not a myth. Rod Jensen. I am the president and CEO of the Bank of Star Valley. I've had the great honor of holding that position for 26 years now. The best thing about working in a bank is helping people. It is the reason we exist. The local community bank went out of business and a group of local citizens decided that Star Valley needed a community bank. They came together. We formed the bank with the focus of helping individuals, and that is what we get to do day in, day out. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call. Nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming. You want to make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you, you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez. I think being in a small town, you just really care and you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors. These are people that you see out in the community. You know, you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store. You know, these are our neighbors. One of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends. We are family. And so I think there's a lot of trust in the community. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit Simplot.com.
$1,000 is on the line this evening as eight teenage singers from Star Valley step on stage to compete. The auditorium audience, along with the vote of three judges, will help determine the winner. Contestants include Anna Hatterley, Ali Jack, Peyton Hokinson, Brock Hatterley, Olivia Burnham, Carly White, Dylan Calgreen, and Tori White. Which one will take home the prize? This is Team Vocalist. Now to introduce your judges and welcome the first contestant. Please welcome to the stage your host of The Vocalist, Duke Dance. Vocalist for 2024. I hope everybody is ready for a great show tonight. You ready for a great show tonight? <laughs> Sounds like you are. So we have eight incredible teenage singers that are about to take the stage and put on a great show. Regardless of what happens at the end of this thing, it's going to be a fantastic show. You're in for a treat tonight. It's going to be a great competition. And of course, as you know, those who are in the audience tonight will have a chance to help determine who's going to win a cool $1,000 for our Team Vocalist winner. We'll give you voting instructions as we get to that point later on in the broadcast tonight. And here's what's going to happen. All 18 contestants, all 18 contestants, <laughs> will come out one at a time and perform in the first round. Four of those contestants will advance to a second round and will sing one more time. The audience, along with our three judges, will determine which four advance and also which one ultimately wins the grand prize of $1,000. And of course, some other great things tonight. We have some extra performances from a couple of our judges I'll tell you about. And we have some pretty cool, exciting news about the main vocalist competition that takes place during the Lincoln County Fair in August. So I'll give you that nugget here in just a few moments. But until then, who's ready for a great show tonight and Team Vocal? Let's start by introducing our judges on the end of the table closest to the screen. She's been a longtime team vocalist judge. We ask her back every single year because she does a great, great job. Put your hands together for Kaylee Anderson, everybody. <laughs> Kaylee, you've been, you've been judging this for a number of years now. What do you love most about being a judge for this competition like team vocalist? I'm not sure about the judging part, but... These kids are amazing. You all know, you've seen them on stage. To come out and be judged is a real scary thing, and I give them huge props. They're amazing kids. Absolutely, well said. well said. Our next judge in the yellow, nice color choice, current principal of Thane Elementary is Daniel Barnes. Daniel! back and forth on who to have as one of our judges and we asked a few people and it didn't work out and then it, found, it, it came to our attention that Daniel in his professional career as an elementary principal actually has a little secret. Daniel is quite the singer we found out and not just any singer. Daniel tell us about what kind of music is kind of your forte. Uh, hopefully music that people like. Um, <laughs> Um, it's, uh, I, I grew up uh, playing punk rock. I liked punk rock because I didn't have to be a very good singer. So, and it was just fun to play. So, it's been a long time, but I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. And um, like has been said, it's going to be a great night with a lot of talent here. These kids are going to be do, do great. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Now, if you're, if you're good tonight, audience, if you're good, maybe we'll convince Daniel to sing a punk rock song. You can only hide behind principal for so long. We're gonna, we're gonna break out the hair. Tonight. This was supposed to be a secret. <laughs> Nobody else but us, it's okay. Daniel Barnes, everybody. Our third judge tonight is a great friend of ours at the vocalist. She's been a vocalist contestant twice during the Lincoln County Fair. She made the finals both times, and she's back tonight to judge from Shelley, Idaho. That's Heather Hathaway, everybody. <laughs> Heather, you're such an accomplished vocalist. Uh, tell us about the competition you actually started uh, in Eastern Idaho, similar to this one. Yes, so the reason I started it is because of my experience with the vocalist. So I got to do the vocalist in 2019 and 2021, and I loved it so much that I started one called Gem State Singer that happens at the Eastern Idaho State Fair um, in September, and we have eight contestants as well. 
It's really just copying yours, mostly. <laughs> but it's so fun. Now, you've also been performing a lot. Tell us about some of the cool places you've had a chance to sing. Oh, yes. Well, I have gotten to sing the national anthem for the Utah Jazz for a couple of years. Um, then I've sang the national anthem for the War Bonnet Rodeo and the Gem State Classic Rodeo. And really, the vocalist is like the biggest accomplishment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Heather Hathaway, everybody. Thank you so much to our three judges. What will happen tonight is each judge will carry 25% of the vote, each one individually, and then the audience collectively will carry the other 25%. And again, just those in person tonight in the auditorium will have the opportunity to vote to be part of that 25%. All right, I'm done. You guys ready? Let's get going. Please, please welcome to the stage your very first team vocalist contestant tonight. That is Anna Hatterley. Like, that was awesome. Um, 
really like the soul in your voice and uh, obviously that what was mentioned before the stage presence and getting the audience into it you have such confidence on the stage well done thank you Maybe. I really like those slides at the beginning. Ellen, well, you did this sometimes in between too, but that would be awesome. And you know, at your age, it's really hard to go from a head tone to a chest tone and back and forth. You did it flawlessly. It was amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And happy everyone. Now you can see how tough it's going to be. It's going to be a great show, and it got to start off great. Your second contestant side has actually been on the team vocal stage before, but it has been a couple of years. So please welcome back to team vocalist, Allie Jack. Lucky person! 
Heather, how about you? Um, I loved it. I also have heard that song, but now I, I don't know if we can beat that version, so I won't go listen to it. Um, okay, I had I just kept like going over over more and more notes. It was so good. Um, your breath control was what really got me. I mean, that was a lot of singing and runs in a row, and you just held with it so good, and your tone was like perfect. I feel like it was so pitch perfect, and it was yeah. awesome. Great job. Let's hear it for Allie. Thank you. What do you think, Andrew? You find your breath is good tonight. That's that's two contestants. I was just going to say, I feel much more intimidated sitting here now that I've heard those first two go, so. <laughs> it's a high awesome. bar, it's a high bar for sure. And our next contestant is our youngest one, but is certainly still capable of keeping that bar extremely high. Please welcome your third contestant to Team Vocals, Peyton Hokinson. <laughs>
Such power, such control, you stayed in character even when you weren't vocalizing. And it was just clear as a bell. Great Christine Dye. Thank you. Heather, how about you? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. First of all, beautiful, beautiful dress, beautiful. Um, I, again, have so many notes. Um, okay, did you say 15? Is that what you said? You were 15. That was outstanding. My word, you have amazing control. I also got chills. Um, amazing range, and just wow, that was awesome. Thank you. Daniel. 15 years old, I, I wasn't expecting such a mature sound, and it was, it was incredible all the way through. I think you could tackle any Broadway hit, and it would sound absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I loved it, and the note at the end, just icing on the cake. It was incredible. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Almost halfway through the first round, but that is a tough act to follow, but if there's one person that can do it, it's our only male. Contestants. Yeah! This is one of our two returning contestants from last year's competition. Everybody, please welcome Brock Hatterley. Okay, wow. 
That was so awesome. First of all, love the outfit. And okay, so I loved your big notes. They were so like open and pretty. I know that's not a man to say, but that song was awesome. I love that song from Mulan. That was so good. Great job. Daniel. Uh, rock such personality on the stage and um, I, I love this song. I love it and you absolutely did it justice. I mean, it was awesome. That might be my favorite version I've ever heard actually. It was awesome. I mean, such a strong voice, great personality on stage. Well done. Kaylee. I think he said almost everything I wrote down. The other thing was range. I hate when a guy can sing higher than me in their head. In their chest. <laughs> great job, Rock. Great Thank job. You. winning tonight, or it might be one of the next four contestants. Heather, what do you think so far halfway through the first round? Um, amazing job. I honestly feel like this is hard. It's going to be hard to pick. Um, they're all outstanding, and I'm super excited to hear the rest of them. Not going to skip a single beat either. Our next contestant will keep these going right on to Please put your hands together for Olivia Burnham.
Bailey, let's we'll start with you. She got the crowd clapping in that one. Yes, great job, Cardi Girl. Um, that was a great song choice for you. I really like that. Very entertaining. Um, you got to teach me those foot moves. Well, that's kind of tricky. Um, I love your strong voice. I love that you. Your tonality was great. Right on pitch. Good job, girlfriend. Thank you. Heather. Hello. Great job. That was awesome. Um, I also loved your use of the stage and getting the crowd into it. And also, it's really, it's so hard when the judges are on stage with you to like acknowledge us and get us into it. And I think you did a great job of that. And yeah, your control was amazing. You were clear down. Your notes were amazing. It was great. Great job. Thank you so much. And Daniel. Carly, that can't be an easy song to sing, but uh, I feel like you, you nailed it. it was, it's a fun song. Um, and as been, like it's been said, uh, you, you know, you worked the stage, you had fancy footwork, you got us into it. Well done, it was awesome. Thank you so much. That's Harley White, everyone. <laughs> There's two contestants remain in the opening round, trying to get into the final round and stay alive for that $1,000 prize. Your seventh contestant tonight to take the stage for Team Vocalist. Please welcome Dylan Calvary. <laughs>
Dylan Sutton. Uh, uh, Daniel, let's start with your comments. Uh, Dylan, you, you've got a, a great voice. It's such a, it's, it's such a, uh, it's, 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 you have a great voice. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I think uh, this was a great song choice for you. I really enjoyed the song and felt, again, sort of connection with it as, as you were singing. And I really uh, just enjoyed your performance tonight. Nice job. Thank you. Kaylee? Soothing. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. Soothing and very clear. Beautiful, beautiful job. Um, it's really hard to do the, those jumps um, and hit that note right square in the middle, and you did it. Yeah. yeah very. Clear voice, I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. Heather, your thoughts? Um, I loved it as well. I love that song, and um, I really felt your connection with it as well. Um, and I put down captivating. It was really a captivating performance. Um, I love your your head voice. It was so so pretty. Great job. That was Thank awesome. Dylan Calvert, everyone. All right, if one contestant remains here in the first round, Kayleen, you've been doing this for a couple of years. What do you think tonight on this one? This is not nice. <laughs> <laughs> they are, I told you, they're amazing. This alley just blows me away. I'm so blessed to live here. It's not going to get any nicer on our judges either for our final contestant as we end on a great contestant as one of the first seven. Please welcome to the deep vocal stage, Tori White.
love that song. Um, I love your like breathy notes. Your, your voice is so breathy and beautiful. Um, and then I loved when you took the mic out and had your chest voice a little bit. That was awesome. And I love your shoes. Great job. <laughs> Daniel, what do you think about the song or the shoes on the mic? <laughs> I, I, I love this song. Uh, I've loved the song for a really long time, and uh, I love how I'm really familiar with this song, and I love how you made it your own in a couple of spots. I thought that was really cool, kind of made it your own, and um, I, I love how the song had a natural crescendo from beginning to end. Um, I loved it. It was awesome. Thank you. Kaylee? Good job, Tori. Lots of words to fit in in, in those uh, phrases, and you did a great job of that. I loved the way you did your key change without accompaniment that's hard to do. And I love, love, love your low register. Thank like, you. It's nice and breathy. Let's hear it for Corey Light for the one that's got here. And let's hear it again for all eight contestants for a fantastic first round. Let me go. Let me go. Absolutely incredible. However, the tough part about being a competition is it is a competition, right? So only four. Of those eight contestants are able to advance to the second round and stay alive for that one thousand dollar grand prize. Again, each of our judges will carry twenty-five percent of the vote. Each one individually. Our in-person audience here at Star Valley High School Auditorium collectively will vote, and also will take on the remaining twenty-five percent of the vote. All those votes will be tallied up, and we'll go into the final four coming up here in just a few moments. For those in person in the audience, I'll give you voting instructions here in just a few moments. But before we do so, let's recap the first round of competition of Dean Vocalist. Voting on the way. The first round is complete. Now it's up to our three judges and the in person auditorium audience to determine which four contestants will advance to the second round. Will it be Anna Hatterley? Allie Jack. Peyton Hokinson. Brock Hatterley. Olivia Burnham. This is Team Vocalist. Welcome back to Star Valley. Rod Jensen. I am the president and CEO of the Bank of Star Valley. I've had the great honor of holding that position for 26 years now. The best thing about working in a bank is helping people. It is the reason we exist. The local community bank went out of business and a group of local citizens decided that Star Valley needed a community bank. They came together. We formed the bank with the focus of helping individuals, and that is what we get to do day in, day out. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call. Nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming. You want to make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. 
As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you, you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez. I think being in a small town, you just really care and you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors. These are people that you see out in the community. You know, you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store. You know, these are our neighbors. One of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends, we are family. And so I think there's a lot of trust in the community. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit Simplot.com. Star Valley Physical Therapy, a division of Star Valley Health, is committed to guiding you back to great health through effective physical and occupational therapy services. Star Valley Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy to treat conditions such as arthritis, back pain, chronic pain, joint pain, sprains, strains, and much more. Aquatic therapy allows for patients to perform activities and exercises that would normally be too painful. Learn more at starvalleyhealth.org. True roots run deep. When Dr. Hoganson had the chance to move back to the valley he grew up in and raise his family among friends, he jumped at the opportunity. He is honored to serve the community that has been part of his family for generations. Star Valley Dental promises honest, compassionate, and high quality dentistry tailored to your needs. They offer fillings to implants, same day crowns to 3D printing and everything in between. Call Star Valley Dental at 885-4355 to schedule your appointment today. Today, Star Valley Dental, where we treat our patients like family. Hello. Using tracking skills I've acquired pretending to be a national park ranger, I'm going to locate a customer of Rocky Mountain Yeti. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Yeti, these people are having their very first adventure. We actually do this all the time. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Yeti.
where legendary customer service is not a myth. And teen vocalist. Voting is now closed, and four local teen contestants are about to come one step closer to the $1,000 prize. As the votes are counted, please welcome to the stage one of tonight's judges and a former top four finisher of the vocalist during the Lincoln County Fair, Heather Hathaway.
All right, we are just about ready to see who is in the second round. Are you guys ready to see who's in the second round? Yeah. Now, I will tell you this. Uh, the order of the first round was completely randomized. Uh, for the first round of contestants, we did a computer randomization, and that's how we picked the order of the first round. It's the same thing in the second round. How we announced the contestants that advanced in the second round has nothing to do with how the vote went, how the judges picked everything. It's all completely randomized. So uh, that's how things are going to work tonight. Now, before we head into the second round, of course, normally we announce tonight that our auditions are opening up for the main vocalist competition, which takes place every year during the Lincoln County Fair. It's in August at the fairgrounds. We are in the arena with the big stage. Uh, however, that show is still going to continue, but we are not doing auditions for this year's show because we already have our contestants this year. So auditions will not be opening tonight as they normally do. You know, it's been nine years ago that we started doing the vocalist competition. Don't tell American Idol, but back then we called it Swift Idol. Uh, and I kind of like that name still, but they didn't like that very much. So we went to the vocalist. And over the years, we've had winner after winner after winner. We now have eight winners of the vocalist heading into our ninth season. So we thought, how cool would it be, instead of inviting a whole new batch of singers to the stage to compete, what if we brought all eight winners back to the stage to compete? And so this year during the Lincoln County Fair, every previous winner of the vocalist is coming back to the stage to compete again against each other for $10,000. It's gonna be a really good show. It's gonna be a fantastic show. We're super excited about it. So stay tuned for more details. That'll be August 7th at the Lincoln County Fair. We'll be in the arena on the big stage, and it's not gonna be a show you wanna miss. Uh, all eight contestants coming back for $10,000 on the line to compete in that one. Heather, you were a former contestant twice, so uh, what do you think about having all of them back together on stage again? Am I on now? Okay, there we go. I think that's so cool, and I'm excited. I'm gonna have to come back and watch. That is going to be an amazing competition. Wow, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a great show, so we hope you all come August 7th to the Lincoln County Fairgrounds. All right, let's find out who our first contestant is for Team Vocalist tonight that is still in the running for the $1,000 grand prize in the Team Vocalist competition tonight. Again, just to recap, our in-person audience here in the auditorium carried 25% of the vote collectively. Each of our three judges also individually carried 25%. The order that our contestants come and compete in the second round has nothing to do with how the vote went has been completely randomized. So our first contestant advancing into the second round, still alive for $1,000, the young guy. It is Peyton <laughs> Thirteen, I give trying. 
second round. Uh, Daniel, let's start with you and your boss. Hey, nice work. Um, I, I believe you were born for this. I, it was awesome. Um, I really love the, the vibrato in your voice and the crisp tone. It was a fun song. Your confidence on stage it was awesome. Thank you. Kaylee? Great diction. I have never heard that song. Maybe been hiding somewhere, but I could understand every word. I'm glad that you're good at math. I'm dumb at math. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid was the word, right? That was a nice change up. Thank you. Heather? Yeah, that was so awesome. I love it when you like have one performance that's amazing and then it's like a whole new performance and we got to see a different vocal part of your vocal range and it was awesome. I love your outfit, I loved your use of the stage and just like a completely different performance and it was just as good. Great job. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Pete. Oh, yeah. Just so you guys know, the contestant that makes it into the finals next doesn't find out until just a minute or two before you do. And so it is kind of intense backstage because nobody knows backstage what's happening either. Uh, and so they just get ready when their name is called. And the next name that has been called to see in the second round of Team Vocalist 2024, Olivia Burna. Thank you. 
that was so cute. I just like want to bottle it up. Um, I saw a little wink somewhere over here. I'm not gonna point it out, but that was cute. Um, great job, really showed off your voice and gave a variety. So cute, great job. Daniel. Uh, Olivia, I got a great control throughout the song, I felt like. Um, I love the big notes. It was a solid performance. Really nice job, it's awesome. Kaylee. I liked your use of the stage and your cute little. <laughs> Um, and one thing I really liked vocally was the way that you open up. You can tell you're opening up your throat, and it's not that's how this way, but the way you opened up your throat, it came out beautifully. Thanks. Olivia Burnham, everybody. Now we're to our second round now, and we go to the first two are still in the running for that $1,000. Just two contestants remain that can make it into the second round and still compete for the final $1,000 grand prize. Your third contestant tonight into the second round for team vocalist is Brock Cattle.
beside you.
you. Oh my word. I'm just like blown away by each of you. Okay, that was outstanding. That song is so hard to sing. And you nailed it. Your runs were so tight and like beautiful. And I like am speechless. That was so good. I, great job. Great job. Thank you. Daniel. Is, is that when you used to? Is that when you used to song? Yeah. I, I had chills the whole time. I almost cried, and I'm not. And I'm, that's for real. That was amazing. Uh, your your runs, uh, up and down, all of that. The, the the notes were so clear. Just at like a. I was just. It was amazing. It's awesome. Thank you. Kaylee. I was so mesmerized. I didn't write one thing down. <laughs> mesmerized. That's a good word for it, right? Uh, I love the way that everything was so clear. Whitney is one of the very hardest people to sing. And you, you sang Whitney, but you sang Allie. You made it you, which was amazing. Thank you so much for sharing Thank with you. us. <laughs> The second and final round is finished. And once again, it's up to our three judges and in-person auditorium audience to cast their votes. Will it be Anna Hatterley, Allie Jack, Peyton Hokinson, Brock Hatterley, Olivia Burnham, Carly White, Dylan Calgren, or Tori White? Who will become the next team vocalist and win the $1,000 grand prize? We will find out when we come back. My name is Rod Jensen. I am the president and CEO of the Bank of Star Valley. I've had the great honor of holding that position for 26 years now. The best thing about working in a bank is helping people. It is the reason we exist. The local community bank went out of business and a group of local citizens decided that Star Valley needed a community bank. They came together, we formed the bank with the focus of helping individuals, and that is what we get to do day in, day out. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call. Nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming. You want to make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you, you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez. I think being in a small town, you just really care and you take more pride in the work that you do because you're working with your neighbors. These are people that you see out in the community. You know, you see them at kids sporting events and parent teacher conferences and the grocery store. You know, these are our neighbors. One of the reasons that people also come back to us is they trust us because we are friends, we are family. And so I think there's a lot of trust in the community.
Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine is proud to be a large part of the Star Valley community. The mine supports local families with jobs and opportunities. Smoky Canyon Mine is a major supporter of community projects. Not to mention the phosphate ore that comes from the mine helps farmers and ranchers around the nation put high quality products on your kitchen table. Simplot Smoky Canyon Mine, bringing Earth's resources to life. To learn more, visit simplot.com. Star Valley Physical Therapy, a division of Star Valley Health, is committed to guiding you back to great health through effective physical and occupational therapy services. Star Valley Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy to treat conditions such as arthritis, back pain, chronic pain, joint pain, sprains, strains, and much more. Aquatic therapy allows for patients to perform activities and exercises that would normally be too painful. Learn more at starvalleyhealth.org. True roots run deep. When Dr. Hoganson had the chance to move back to the valley he grew up in and raise his family among friends, he jumped at the opportunity. He is honored to serve the community that has been part of his family for generations. Star Valley Dental promises honest, compassionate, and high quality dentistry tailored to your needs. They offer fillings to implants, same day crowns to 3D printing, and everything in between. Call Star Valley Dental at 885-4355 to schedule your appointment today. Today, Star Valley Dental, where we treat our patients like family. Hello. Using tracking skills I've acquired pretending to be a national park ranger, I'm going to locate a customer of Rocky Mountain Yeti. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Yeti, these people are having their very first adventure. We actually do this all the time. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Yeti where legendary customer service is not a myth. Rod Jensen. I am the president and CEO of the Bank of Star Valley. I've had the great honor of holding that position for 26 years now. The best thing about working in a bank is helping people. It is the reason we exist. The local community bank went out of business and a group of local citizens decided that Star Valley needed a community bank. They came together. We formed the bank with the focus of helping individuals, and that is what we get to do day in, day out. Hey, this is Duke and Dal, and recently we decided to do a little less broadcasting and a little more banking. We even made our own logos. The Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming is open for business. Ooh, we already got a phone call. Nice. Bank of Duke and Dal of Wyoming. You want to make a deposit? Yeah, we'll take your money. As you can see, our customer satisfaction is on the rebound. Bank of Duke and Dow, how can I help you? Oh, you, you want to make a withdrawal? No, that money's gone. Who do you think we are? First Bank of Wyoming? <laughs> Jeez.
The voting is now closed, and the final counts are being tallied. Which of our local contestants is about to become the next team vocalist? As votes are counted and confirmed, please welcome to the stage another of tonight's judges as he goes back to his glory days of performing in a punk rock band. It's Daniel Barnes. <laughs>
25% vote from our in-person audience here in the auditorium. And each of our three judges carry 25% of the vote as well, individually. All right, so I will announce the first, the contestant who finished fourth. Looks like it is Olivia Burnham. Have a great night, everybody.